Job was called blameless, but he still receives correction. We are to live blameless lives before God, but he can still correct us. When he shows us something in our lives that misses the mark, we go right to him and confess, and he cleanses us. We remain blameless. We ask him to remove it from us. We have a promise that he cleanses us from all unrighteousness. He can do the job if we give ourselves to him for the task. Job does repent. He sees his error. He realized he was acting without real understanding. We think we know so much, but we don't. Job says that before he had heard about God, but now he knew God. He had seen God. He knew he could ask God and God would make it known to him. We need to know him. You can ask God to reveal himself to you, to help you get to know him. We need to know God. To know him is eternal life, according to John 17, 3. We need to get our eyes off of ourselves so we can see him. After the correction, God goes right back to seeing Job as blameless. He defends Job, saying to the other friends, You have not spoken rightly about me as my servant Job has. The friends are required to humble themselves and ask Job to pray for them. Job has to forgive and be willing to pray for them. We're told that when he prays for his friends, then God restores everything to Job and redeems it by giving Job twice as much as before. Even when things are restored at the end, it will take years for it all to come to pass. It takes decades to have another ten children, for instance. It's a slow recovery. It doesn't all just drop out of the sky or spring up from the ground. Job will wait for the blessing, though I'm sure there were immediate results of God smiling with favor and lifting his heavy hand. God was good to Job.